Welcome to 10 Minute Teach with Mr. A. In this video, we're going to be learning how to multiply a two digit number by another two digit number. So let's just get straight into it. Okay, let's start with our first example. That's 43 multiplied by 13. So we're trying to make 43 13 times larger. And before we even start anything, the best thing to do is set up perhaps some squares if you've got them. If not, definitely your place value heading. So you try and keep everything in line. So I'm going to do both just to just to be super safe that I don't go out of line. So I've got hundreds, tens and ones in my columns. And then I've got my calculation to write in 43 times 13. And then I'm going to start writing my large equals sign. But instead of going on the second line, like we might be used to, we're going to skip one and go on to the next one down and then finish it off with a final one because there is another part to this calculation as well. And as part of setting these ones up, this type of question, if you put a zero in the ones column on that second line that we've got, and I'll explain why in a moment. So what we're going to do is try and multiply 43 by three, first of all, because what we're doing, it really is partitioning 13 into tens. And we're going to put the answers to that on here and three here on our top line. So let's start by multiplying three by three, which is nine and four by three, which is 12. I've got nothing else to multiply by. So I can just write that straight in. So our partition part of multiplying by 3, 43 times 3 is 129. So now I'm going to multiply by my tens digit. But I'm going to multiply by 1 actually because I've already multiplied my answer by 10 by putting my 0 there. So I'm going to multiply 1 by 3 and then 1 by 4. So 1 by 3 is 3 and 1 by 4 is 4. So 43 times 10 is 430. So that's worked out perfectly. Now then, all we need to do, we've partitioned, so we need to add those numbers back together. And this is the important part now, and that'll give you your final answer. So nine add zero is nine, two add three is five, and one add the four is five, for an answer of 559. Okay, then, so our second example is 34 multiplied by 21. So we're going to set it up exactly the same way as we did before for the exact same reasons. And I'm going to put in 34 times by the 21 and setting that up for my units, my tens, and then adding my answer back up at the end. Not forgetting the addition sign and my zero for multiplying my 20 in this case. But I can just times it by two this time because I've put that in there. Let's have a little look then. So I'm going to do my units column first of all. So one times four is four. One times three is three. So 34 times one is indeed 34. And this time, like we say, I've already made my answer 10 times bigger. So I'm going to just multiply by my two here. So two times four is eight and three times two is six. And because I put my add sign there, I'm not going to forget to add them together. So I've partitioned and now I'm going to join them back up. So four add nothing is four. 30 add 80, or we can make it easy for ourselves and do three add eight is 11. Or, and you can see that that's 110 there. And we've got no hundreds, add 600, add the 100 makes 700 or six add one is seven. So. 714 is the answer to 34 multiplied by 21. Okay then, so let's start our third example, 57 times 89. Now, this one has the smaller number at the start in our number sentence, but don't worry, it's completely commutable. So you can do 89 times 57 or 57 times 89, you'll still end up with the same answer. And because the numbers are slightly larger with this one, I'm thinking that I might need an extra column in my place value because I think it might go over into the thousands this one uh, I'm going to set it up just as I did before I'm going to do 89 times 57 and there we go just setting that up nice and simple 
Okay, so multiplying by my ones digit first, so I'm going to try and make 89 seven times bigger. So nine times seven is 63, unit down, carry the 10. Eight sevens are 56, add the six is 62. So I can put that in there. So 89 times seven is 623. Now I can just multiply here by five because I've already made my answer 10 times larger. Now nine fives are 45, unit down. Carry the 10. Eight fives are 40. Add the four is 44. And I've got nothing else to times by, so I can just put that straight in there. Now then, here's the important part. Just adding up at the end. So three add nothing is three. The two add five is seven. Six add four is 10. Unit down. Carry that one over. And nothing add the four. Add the one is five for 5,073. So if you found this video useful, then please consider subscribing and popping a few likes. Give us a comment to see if there's any videos that you would like me to do in the future. Until next time, goodbye.